नेक्स्ट मेजरमेंट स्पीड मेजरमेंट डिवाइस इज इंडक्टिव पिकअप टैकोमीटर सो कंस्ट्रक्शन वी कैन सी हेयर हेयर इज द परमानेंट मैग्नेट अराउंड विच द कॉयल इज वाउंडेड ओके हेयर इज द टू थेड गियर और व्हील एंड हेयर इज द सेंट्रल इज शाफ्ट हु स्पीड वी हैव टू मेजर देन द कॉयल टर्मिनल्स आर टेकन हेयर टू टेक आउटपुट वोल्टेज हेयर फर्दर दिस आउटपुट वोल्टेज और द पल्सेज जनरेटेड आर सेंड टू द एम्प्लीफायर टू एम्प्लीफाय द सिग्नल फ्रॉम एम्प्लीफायर इट इज सेंड टू द शेपर ओके सो शेपर इट कन्वर्ट साइन वेव इन टू अ स्क्वेर वेव्स एंड देन इट इज फिट टू द टाइमर और द फ्रिक्वेंसी टाइमर ओके एंड फ्रॉम हेयर वील गेट द आउटपुट ऑफ पल्सेस पर सेकेंड सो दिस इज वॉट द सिंपल कंस्ट्रक्शन ओके नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विथ द वर्किंग नाउ वेन दिस परमनंट मैग्नेट इज वाउंडेड विद द कॉइल and it is supplied with some uh, current then what will happen when the shaft rotating then uh, this here is a uh, due to current here is the magnetic field or the flux is generated okay and now when this tooth uh, moves here in between this gap so it cuts this tooth cuts the flux of this uh magnetic flux okay due to uh, cut in the flux there is a variation means uh, uh what will say emf will expand and collapse expand and collapse this action will happen when this pick of the tooth will come in between it will cut the uh, flux and when this cavity will come it will expand so it will when the tooth will come it will collapse and when this cavity will be between here say here is the tooth and if this cavity is between here so at that time your emf will uh, expand okay so this procedure will go on continuously so is it will generate this uh, expand and collapse of emf will generates the or uh, uh, impact on the output voltage so it will generate a pulse type output okay due to collapse and expansion so this pulse type out Output, that is the sine wave it will further transmit it to the amplifier what will amplifier do it will expand or amplify the waves sine waves okay now this expanded or amplified sine waves are fed to the shaper because the frequency timer accept a uh, square uh, shape loops or will can say wave so that's why the amplifier gives to the shaper this amplified sine wave and it will get converted into a square shape uh, amplified uh, waves okay and that will feed it to the timer which will calculate the number of pulses per second what it will calculate number of pulses per second now our main motto is to find out the rpm right so to find out this rpm we can use this formula that is pulse per second divided by number of tooth so this quantity that is the number of tooth we know if it is given some value say 10 or 12 whatever value it is provided so we can take this pulses from this uh, frequency timer so this pulses per second divided by number of tooth will give me the value of say pulses per second is the p denoted by p and number of tooth denoted by t so it will give me the value of n that is the rp yes but it is in a revolution per second so if we have to convert into revolution per minute so please multiply by 60 so we will get the answer in the revol revolution per minute thank you